Spiegel owners, I heard you. You have been howling for a deep dive into this popular breed, and your time has come. It's time to learn all about your curious, sniffing pup and what makes him tick. But the most important thing you'll learn from today's video is why your beagle is not stubborn. Michelle here with How to Train a Dream Dog. Now I'm working my way down the list of dog breeds, so if yours hasn't made the list yet, keep watching. And subscribe to this channel so you'll get notified when I go live or when a new video is released. Let's get started with the history of this adorable mid-sized pet. Now there are several theories on how the beagle got their name. Some believe that the name comes from a French word that means open throat, and another French word meaning to bellow has also been proposed. I like the second theory because if you have a beagle, you are familiar with that adorable aroo. Did I do it right? <laughs> Beagles are medium-sized dogs who usually weigh between 26 to 33 pounds. Because of their stature, beagles put on weight quickly if they don't get enough exercise. And a healthy beagle is athletic, muscular, and strong despite being fairly short. Most of the beagles I know have no sense of satiety, which means they don't know when they are full. It is gonna be up to you, the human, to provide adequate food, but also watch your beagle's weight carefully. Due to poor breeding practices, certain breeds, including the beagle, are more prone to genetic health problems such as hip dysplasia. I want you to research your breeder carefully. You'll wanna ask about these medical issues and make sure they're, they are being eliminated from the genetic line. And be sure to keep up with regular vet checks and all the supplements your vet recommends to keep your beagle comfortable. Next up, grooming. All right, there's not a lot I need to share in the grooming category. Beagle fur isn't as labor intensive as other breeds like a doodle, but it is important to brush your beagle regularly. Once or twice a week should do it. Now a quality bristle brush would work well for this type of hair. Just keep in mind that they have needle-like hair and it will get into everything and it can be hard to get out. So keep up with regular brushing to keep that shedding under control. And if you need help teaching your beagle to enjoy brushing, Check out this awesome video next. Now, here's the area that I really want to get your attention. Let's talk about energy levels, the stubborn characteristic, and how to work with that super smart beagle brain. Now, I'm sure you know, beagles are high energy dogs. As hunting dogs, beagles needed lots of energy and stamina to track down game over long distances. Believe it or not, this energy can be depleted and you can have a relaxed, settled beagle. Now the key to this will be to give him or her a proper routine with appropriate outlets for this energy. That includes letting them sniff. For beagles especially, you'll need to address their mental energy needs in addition to their physical. A beagle will not be content with a few games of fetch before he settles down for a nap. He's gonna need to work that super smart brain with some problem solving and enrichment activities. Don't worry, I've got some specific ideas for you coming up. So when it comes to exercise, outings and walks will be important, but less for the physical movement and more for the sniffing opportunity it provides. More on sniffing in just a minute. A video about beagles has to have a big section on sniffing. Now, as you probably know, beagles make great family dogs. They're small, but smart, and usually have a very easygoing temperament. Beagles are the most common breed used in animal testing because of that forgiving nature. That just breaks my heart. But I know you will benefit from that awesome personality, so let's focus on the positives. So here's the part where I'm gonna tell you why your beagle is not stubborn. It has a lot to do with the genetics of this breed. When in a working capacity, beagles are trained to lead the way, relying on the scent rather than their owners to guide them. This is what the humans need in situations like bomb sniffing, agricultural inspection, and hunting. Beagles were bred to have an independent nature that makes them less interested in seeking out praise or affection from you. Now because of this training in genetics, if your beagle picks up on an interesting scent, that's all they'll focus on until they find its source. They aren't being stubborn. They're doing what they were born to do. Now that you know this, you can work with your beagle, not against him when he's doing his sniffing. For example, when out on a walk with your pup, don't set him up to fail by asking him for his attention when he's sniffing. But Michelle, what, what do I do when I need to get his attention? Well, first, try to look for natural pauses in the sniffing to ask for the focus on you. All right, if you pay a close attention to his body language, you'll notice when he's sniffing. 
when it's very intense or when it's just mere curiosity. So wait for the intense sniffing to stop before asking him for something. I also advise my students with beagles to teach the interrupter cue and practice it like crazy with super high value rewards every time. This is essentially a, oh hey beagle, can you focus on me for a minute? Like I mentioned earlier, use it only when you need it and hopefully when the beagle is a little more able to drag himself away from that interesting scent. Now, the more you use it and you're not successful, the less it will mean. So remember that beagles are easily distracted by new and interesting scents. So if you're going to a new area or there's been a change in the environment that he's going to notice, well, be patient and let him take it all in. So let's talk about the recall cue or the come command for a minute. Now, a lot of people's goals in life is to have an off-leash dog. That's more feasible for a well-trained Australian Shepherd or even a Border Collie. Beagles are likely never going to reach that point. Their nose is their guide. We know that beagles love treats, but I know most of them love to sniff even more. So if your beagle will likely keep sniffing instead of coming to you for a treat, well, for this reason, a long leash is a necessity. Now I do recommend decompression walks are done on 30 foot leashes. In addition to the tool of a long leash, training is also going to be very important. Teaching your beagle leash skills is a must. So you're going to teach him how to walk loosely on a leash by your side, but also respect the fact that the probability of him checking in with you is kind of low. So set your expectations appropriately and it'll be a better walk for both of you. I always say that when you take your dog out for a walk, it's the dog's walk, not yours. This is even more true for beagles. It's also a great idea to train your beagle to understand when it's time to sniff or when it's time to walk. This is done with practice and clear expectations. This sets both of you up for success. Now, the bottom line is that it's not that beagles are stubborn, they're just distracted. They are keenly interested in what they're smelling because it's giving them so much information. They have been bred to analyze scent and they love doing it. They have an innate need to sniff and explore. I hope that helps you have more patience the next time you're out on a walk with your beagle and you become the last thing he's interested in. Now, I'm pretty sure that the last time you were reading a good book or watching a good movie, you weren't too happy to be interrupted either. Have respect for the beagle nose and you guys are gonna get along much better. Now, before I talk about enrichment, let's discuss the adorable Aroo <laughs> that probably you are familiar with. Beagles like to use their voices and often bark when they get excited. Again, they've been trained to do so in their job as hunters. Barking can be pretty annoying for humans, but it's important not to silence them. Instead, give them an outlet for barking. So for example, beagles will usually bark when excited and playing. Instead of stopping the play, maybe you should play outside so they can bark a little more freely. You can also pay close attention to the activities that cause the excitement that leads to the bark and keep it more low key in order to prevent it. If your beagle is barking at noises or small animals they see, you'll need to teach him desensitization, counter conditioning, or attention getting exercises. There's no simple way to explain all of these as they are really highly individualized training techniques that depend on your situation. But if your puppy is young and you wanna work on that, consider the pro level of my online course for some help. Now, I've already shared some great training tips for your beloved beagle, including leash skills and barking, but I also wanna remind you that a very good leave it and drop it skill will be necessary. This breed will pick up on the scent of a discarded sandwich two blocks over. And if they're not taught to leave things on the ground, they will lead you to it and eat it. To teach these skills, I recommend you start as a young puppy with simple games that you can do in your home. Eventually, you can add in the distraction of the outside world but not yet. Now the games to teach these skills are in my online course, and I can also help you slowly increase the dial of distractions that will help your beagle become a better listener outside. Now to learn more about helping your pup be a good listener and that dial of distractions I mentioned, you're gonna want my Better Puppy Behavior Workshop. It's worth an hour of your time to learn about how dogs think and learn and how best to train them, and it's free. The link is in the description below. Okay. It's time for my favorite part, enrichment. Before I get to it, I just wanna thank you today for watching. Now my team and I work really hard to put these videos together for you. If you'd like to show your appreciation, you can use the thanks feature on YouTube. You can also share this video with other puppy parents and subscribe to the channel. These two things really help us too. Okay, beagle owners, get your pen and paper because I want you to take good notes. Well, your beagle also wants you to take good notes too. Now, you know about those professional noses we talked about? 
Well, beagles are often used by the government for important work by U.S. Customs and Border Protection. One of our How to Train a Dream Dog team members, Caitlin, has her very own retired beagle. Morty spent a year working at the Atlanta airport as a USDA agricultural sniffing dog. Caitlin and Morty have nicely volunteered to show us eight things that they love doing for enrichment. This helps Morty satisfy his need to work the way he was trained, but also helps him settle when it's time for Caitlin to chill out or work. Now you have your very own beagle expert here on the How to Train a Dream Dog team. Here's what they love to do. Number one, Morty loves his decompression walks and Caitlin frequently takes him to new areas to add in some novelty. Number two, Morty is still happy to use his airport dog skills so when Caitlin brings home a food to go bag, she lets him go to work. Caitlin lets him choose if he wants to simply sniff it or if he'd like to shred it. She does watch carefully to make sure he doesn't eat the paper, but by now he's good at spitting it out. He just enjoys the process. Number three, have you heard of a sniff box? Morty has. It's really easy. Caitlin simply got a rubber tote, put on a lid and drilled holes in it. Then she brings in various things from outside and puts them in the box and lets Morty sniff. Number four, you can use your sniff box in other ways too, including putting things in it from inside, taking it outside to absorb some of the smells, and then take it back in for a sniff session. Number five, of course, beagles are great candidates for nose work activities. There are easy nose work classes in most areas, or look for a guide online that can teach you how to do it. Caitlin and Morty often do these fun activities as part of his wind down time before bed. Using his nose and also his brain makes for a beagle who sleeps well. Number six. Another one of Morty's favorite activities is hide and seek. Caitlin hides a treat or a specific toy and gives Morty the cue to go look for it. This is one of his favorite games. He played this game a lot when he worked at the airport. It was his job. Number seven, Caitlin tries to look at everything through a sniffing lens. Now the other day, she was cleaning out her closet and Morty was extremely interested in what she was doing. She welcomed his involvement in her activity and allowed him to sniff all the interesting things that were coming out. Now, some people might have been frustrated that a dog wanted to be involved, but Caitlin thought this was a great activity for Morty to do and have some fun. Now for an activity like this, a good drop it cue is gonna be important in case Morty got a little carried away. Number eight. Now another way Caitlin tries to engage Morty is by thinking of her outings as a great opportunity for Morty, even though he stayed home. So when she goes out to dinner, she allows a good sniff fest when she gets home. Maybe the grocery store? Yep, the same. Public transportation? Absolutely. Lots of great smells for sweet Morty. Now, I'm sure you can come up with a lot of ideas based on the unique interest of your beagle and your routines. But the point is to work with his natural traits, not against them. When we can provide outlets for our dogs to do the things they love, their emotional cup becomes full. This leads to a more subtle dog when we are ready to curl up on the couch with Netflix or a good book. So. Take some time to fill your beagle's emotional cup and you will reap the rewards along the way with them. Did you learn something new about your beagle today? Did I convince you that they are not stubborn dogs? I sure hope so. In the comments below, tell me if you have a beagle and what does he love to sniff?